Does life exist outside of Earth? Well, perhaps it does. For the first time, a rare element needed to support life as we know it has been found on a tiny moon belonging to Saturn. It's all very complicated, involving something called phosphorus. Luckily, we have one of the world's best science communicators in the country. So, this is not dust here. This, this is Earth seen through the rings of Saturn. Earth. And just a reminder, we, we are a speck in the middle of a cosmic void. Neil deGrasse Tyson is here for a series of talks about the mysteries of the universe. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is great. <laughs> okay, so, Neil, we're going to get straight into it. A lot of Earthlings are freaking out because there's some phosphorus on one of Saturn's moons, and they're going, oh, we need that for life here, so maybe there's life over there. But I want to know, do you think that we're looking for the wrong stuff out there to prove that there's alien life? We're looking for the right stuff because it's what we're made of. It's yeah, I know. I, so, I know, can't I? I can translate. She's saying uh, maybe uh, aliens are made of different stuff and That's they're not looking for oh, well, the right thing. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it's possible. However, when you include phosphorus with other ingredients that comprise life on Earth, it is some of the most common ingredients across the cosmos. And so why not start there? Okay, we, we're carbon based life. So you want to look for carbon out there? You say, well, how about silicon-based life? And if you remember your chemistry, silicon sits right below carbon on the periodic table. Oh, yeah. Which means they make the same <laughs> families of molecules. Swap out a carbon, put in the silicon, you, in principle, could still have life. Except there's five times as much carbon in the universe as silicon. So we're, we are made of highly opportunistic ingredients. Yeah, okay. Carla. Yeah. Start right. there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. I'm not going to go for the fancy space <laughs> filet mignon. I'll yeah, okay. stick with the right. Oh, it's yeah. actually speaking of some uh, food. Uh, I know you like a New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. Oh, yes, uh, yes, yes. Let's, let's talk New Zealand. In a couple of weeks, we've got a brand new public holiday we're having uh, for Matariki which is what we call the Pleiades, or Subari, that cluster. Yes, yes, yes. I wonder yes. if you've got any good facts on Matariki. Oh, things. yeah, so first, that is a physical, gravitationally bound cluster of stars orbiting together in the galaxy. Wow. And there's several hundred stars in it, but there's only about six visible to the unaided eye. Now, here's what's interesting. Other than Japan, that identifies six stars, and the car company Subaru <laughs> is named after it, and their logo on the front of their car There's has stars. six stars. Yeah. Everybody else says there's seven stars. Except us. We say nine. We say nine. Yeah. Not, oh, that's worse. <laughs> <laughs> no. You just said there's four. <laughs> <laughs> but notice it's Matariki is the mum and uh, her eight children. But, but so, and and in, in Greek legend, it is the seven daughters of Atlas. Yeah. All right? So everybody's, they're, they're very cute and they're up there and uh, most of the world can see them. And I'm delighted by this because it gives another reason to look up and celebrate. It gives us a holiday. That's what we care about. Yeah. <laughs> very true. Think of it now as a cosmic holiday. Oh, okay. well. Space is big, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> is, this, is this one takeaway? <laughs> yes. Is right. there something out there that you don't quite understand about space yet, but you, but you really want to? Like, oh yeah, a, like a thousand things. Yeah. But I, I put it another way. I want to know: Are we smart enough to answer the questions we've posed? Ooh. Don't Ooh. ask me that. What's the next? What's the next? What's next? Are we smart enough? to even know what questions to ask. Whoa. That's what keeps me awake at night. We're just yeah. a speck in the void. That's a speck in the void. That's yeah. what I was trying to do with my first question that you asked. <laughs> <That's great. laughs>